Hi there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use regular expression match in VB.net. First thing we are going to do is we are going to create a new project. And then here we are going to select console application. Give it a name of your choice. And click on OK. This will take some time to create your console project okay so you are here import system dot text dot regular expressions okay after that inside your main subroutine create variable regex adds regex equals new regex and then we are going to match for a number so let's put up a slash then d and then plus symbol what this will do is it will search for number match within our string which is regex dot match method will contain okay this is 25 string example okay so I made a random string here where I have only one number 25 string example let's add one more this st st statement won't make any sense but let's have it anyway now create if loop to check through okay so to check through this regex.match we are going to print the output right line match dot value. Okay, so our program is now ready. What it does is it was created a regex variable which will have only number matching regular expression and then in match as variable you have this string this is 25 string example 11 so when we go through this we are into a loop where it will check for the numbers and it will write those numbers here okay so we are gonna come out of loop and going to type console dot read this is to keep the output paused and so as to not make exit here so let's save this and let me execute this one okay so I have a number first called 25 then as you can see it is exited okay so it has only managed to check one number here okay as soon as it found that number it came out of loop and exited the program okay so it found the match however it skipped that one so only difference here is we have to check for additional numbers okay so this was simple match example for regular expressions in future tutorials i will cover a few other matching methods for regular expressions i hope you found this example useful i will see you next tutorial thank you